Hello everyone. Just wanted to share with you guys a few things that's been going on in my life lately. Uh, God really took hold of me a little while back. I don't know what happened, but uh, we it's kind of started back when uh, remember that American uh, eclipse that went across America. I traveled down with my brother-in-law and my kids and we thought it would be exciting to watch watch it firsthand so we took a road trip for half the day and and watched it happen it was pretty pretty neat and didn't think much of it and a couple months later I was driving down while I was working and God just put it on my heart that there's so many lost people and I just you know I was wasn't even thinking of anything and all of a sudden he put it on my heart that there's so many lost people and I'm like oh my gosh there's you know I look at I'm a cable guy and I'm in I can you know I see everyone and their environment and everything and I look at look back and I'm like oh my gosh there's so many people that don't know God and don't know his goodness and it just a little fire started in my inside me and it just started growing and growing and and uh, I, I really wanted to get into the Bible and and uh, first I was led to a couple videos on hell on YouTube and I don't know how I even got there but people had the testimony of going to hell and not just one but a few and all of them said the same thing and I was like oh my gosh this you know they can't just all be conspiring to tell the same story it sounds like a horrific place and I'm like gosh if that's real then heaven's gonna be real like what do you need to do to get to heaven to you know to make it and I looked at my life and took a deep look and found that I was far far from perfect and that I definitely needed God's redemption and I got down and I prayed and I really seeked repentance like everyone's been calling on the videos on YouTube I seriously seeked repentance and I said God I'm so sorry for what I've done all my sins please please forgive me and help me not do these things and from that time I I you know it didn't change all at once but I was definitely on fire for knowledge so I'd watch YouTube video after YouTube video get into the word a big thing is I got this app on my phone called Bible.is and you can listen to any translation of the Bible in your Bluetooth earphone throughout the whole day. You can just, you know, play it while you're doing whatever. Nobody even knows you're listening to the Bible. And it's just a super good way to focus on God throughout the day. And uh, I another day I, I uh, came up to the prayer you know the Lord's Prayer that everyone knows but I made it more personal and I picked it apart and I said that this has everything to cover me through every day and if you look if you look at it write this down if you can and say this every day I've been saying it every day for months now and it's gave me it's given me a cover that you would not believe it's you know God is so good 
to people that seek him, he will truly give you it. What you, you know, the things of God that you ask for. But say, my father up in heaven, holy is your name and set apart. Let your kingdom come and your will be done down here on earth, just like it is in heaven. Give me today your words and bread and please forgive my sins just like I forgive those who sin against me. Keep me far, far from temptation and deliver me from any attack from the enemy. In Jesus' name, for you are the power and the kingdom and the honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. And I say that every day and it covers me throughout the day. It keeps me safe and it keeps me from the enemy's attacks. Uh, another day, I, I was a smoker and for years I would drink those monster energy drinks every day. And I would have to have them to actually function properly. And I said, I was just sick of it. My heart was starting to beat improperly. And I said, God, please take this from me. I asked God, please take this monster energy drink from me. And please take this, the cigarettes from me. And don't give me, take the urge from me, please. And from that point, I didn't want a cigarette. I didn't want a monster. I, it's like I never even smoked. It was miraculous. And to this day, I, I don't smoke. And in the past, I would vape to get, you know, to try to stop smoking. I don't vape or nothing. And I just, I'm so amazed at the freedom that God gives me. I, am, I just have to share it because I, he truly wants us to become like him. And I believe that if we're hooked onto some things that we truly can't get away from bondage that we're in. And I believe that he has the power to set us free from the things that we're in bondage to. Even pornography, that's a huge one. Uh, you know, um, just anything. That was, that was a huge one in my life. And he set me free from all that, everything. And I'm saying like, even like I used to have a, a tongue for swearing and uh, I cannot swear without feeling super guilty. And I have, you know, I just, I, this stuff, if you focus on God and just let him rule your life, it is amazing. I'm telling you, it, my testimony is awesome and it can be for everyone. God is there to heal us. His main goal is having people repent and turn from their sins. Like that's actually, repent is a changing of your mind, a turning from your sins, which is if you're in sin, you accept Jesus, that he died for you, for all those sins. You accept that he did that. That is so powerful and nobody seems to understand that that blood covered everything and it's you you just have to give it to him and ask him to keep you from it and we may miss it you know mix up every once in a while we may just do what we don't want to do but if you do then just say it right away Lord, I'm sorry. Please forgive me for this. Please. 
help me not to do this again. And he is just and faithful to keep you from that. And every time you say no and you turn from it, it gets easier and easier and easier every time. Get into your word, it's food for the day. Even the Old Testament, there's so much stuff that I didn't even know about in the Old Testament that Jesus is all over that thing. Uh, I'm just so excited for everyone to listen to this, take it to heart, and apply it to their own lives. And I, I truly believe that this is where revival starts, is in our hearts. It's in our changed person. God created us with an empty hole and only He can fill it. We're searching for all these things to make us whole. But the only thing is Jesus Christ to come in and make us whole. And He can totally fill that hole to overflowing. Another prayer I say every day, as much as I can, <clears throat> uh, along with the, the Lord's prayers, the 23rd Psalm is so powerful. And uh, if you guys can memorize that, that's a super powerful and just personal prayer to Jesus. To God you know I, I just I hope you guys got something from this and hope you guys enjoyed the walk out in the forest where the all the trees are blowing down holy macro you see all this that's crazy but holy but I, I really hope you guys enjoyed the time today and I really hope you take it to heart and I just thank you so much for listening and just know that God has the power to bring you out from where you are. He has the power to lift us up and become new in Him. Hallelujah. <laughs>